Hi right, guys, quick video for you guys of our NVMR, which is our remote flashing tool. This allows you to tune your vehicle stage one or stage two anywhere in the world at the comfort of your own home. It can be used on multiple vehicles, um, so if you were to change your vehicle at the end, you could always transfer it onto another vehicle. And I'll show you the unboxing. How So guys, a quick video showing you our latest flash tool, the NVMR, the remote tuning flasher. This is what it comes like in the box. So you've got the NVMR, which is a touchscreen panel. And we've got the OBD cable and the USB cable to connect this to a laptop or a PC. You also get a free sticker in there, but I'll show you how this works on our example vehicle. So the cable itself, clips into the top of the NVM flasher itself and then the other end clicks into the OBD port of your vehicle. Once you connect it, you'll see the screen light up with all the functions that we're going to go through now. So as a self-contained tuning module, we need to connect to the OBD port. So on this vehicle, which is an E92-335D, the OBD port is just there on the A pillar. Once connected, you'll see the system start up. It is self-contained, but we advise you stick on a battery backup or a battery charger to the vehicle. As soon as it's started up, you'll see tuning, setup, diagnosis, and information. So we're gonna click on tuning. Once you do that, we'll click on BMW. So it's a three series. Scroll down to 335D. It's gonna ask us to put the key on. So we turn the ignition on, which is a double click on the E92. And then click on OK. It's now gonna to connect to the vehicle. It's gonna identify it as to what ECU and what software is on the vehicle. So it says stock file is missing. Do you want to read the ECU? We click on yes. So now it's going to read the ECU and back it up. So now it's taken a full backup of the ECU onto the NVMR and now it's going to save it. It says read and complete, switch ignition off and disconnect NVMR. So now we've disconnected the unit, unit's turned off. We'll show you what you need to do next. So all you need guys is a Windows PC or a laptop and you double click on the setup file, the nvmr.exe that we email to you when you purchase the NVM flasher. Double click on it and follow the instructions. Agree to the terms and conditions. Install on the C drive. And now that's launched this software. Within the box you would have got a USB cable and that USB cable connects into the top of the NVMR and the other side connects to the USB port of your laptop or PC. Once it's connected, it will install the device driver software itself and then it will connect to the associated software. Now you can see the device info, which will bring up the vehicle details, the VIN number, and software and hardware details of the ECU. So if you go to download data, you press start, it will take all the data off the NVMR onto the PC so you can save it. So if you type in the reg number, and save that somewhere. You can then email us that file with your current list of modifications and we'll send you a custom calibration back. So once you get the file back from us, you'll click on upload data, you'll go to browse and you'll pick the file that we sent to you. Confirm the upload and that file will now go to the NVMR so you can 
disconnect the NVMR from the PC when you're ready and it's saved and you can flash the vehicle independent of a laptop or PC. So back in the vehicle we've connected the NVMR to the LBD port we've put a battery stabiliser on to keep the voltage above 12 volts turn the ignition on click on tuning and this will give us the options click on yes of what we can do so we've got original file and we've got three additional files um, for this vehicle so we're going to actually click on the latest um, version for this for a stage two it will say initializing in progress and then it will start the writing of that file to the ECU. Now the writing has been complete to the vehicle following the on-screen instructions and now you've got to switch the ignition off and you can disconnect the NVMR. So another function of the NVMR is it has an inbuilt diagnostics tool so if you click on diagnosis, click on your vehicle Click on DTC codes, it will scan the ECU for any fault codes. There are no fault codes on this vehicle, so we'll go back. You can also use it on other vehicles from this list. So now you can enjoy your newfound power from established dyno tune calibrations.